Hello guys, welcome to another educative episode here on FOM TV. As I promised in my previous video, I want us to look at how to set up the drainage system of a tarpaulin pond. If you are new here, please subscribe to our channel, like and share this video. Let's move right into it. So the materials that you are going to need for setting up the drainage system or the water outlets of your tarpaulin pond are So you start by cutting out a slot for the tank connector. You know the tank connector um, has two parts, the male part and the female part. So you mark out the slot for the tank connector at the bottom of the tarpaulin or on the side bottom of the tarpaulin tank where you want the drainage um, to pass through and you cut it out nicely at exactly where you marked it out guys you sh this this is the most important part of the um installing the tank connector it has to be exact so after cutting it out then you decouple your male from the female of the tank connector so the male part is going to be inside the pond the tarpaulin pond the female part is going to be under or outside of the tarpaulin pond so you can see here that uh plumber is decoupling the male from the female the female is normally what is under and then the male is the one with the long screws on it so you put the male inside the tank where you've created your hole or the slot and then the female is going to be under or is going to meet the male under the tarpaulin tank please ensure that there is a black seal beneath or right under the male make sure that that black seal lies exactly into the slot that they have created for it there's a small compartment where the seal is supposed to be if it shifts from that place you're going to get a leaking tank so make sure that that seal is adjusted right at where it's supposed to be and then you fix your male now the female will come and meet the male under the tank just as we are fixing here so the female will come and meet the male under the tank it is screwed so you can just use your hand to tighten it and then put it in place now your hand might not be able to tighten it very firmly so you might need a plier or a pipe wrench to complete that process but normally if you have a firm grip you can even use your hand to finish um, tighten it and that will be good after this you apply your thread tape on the valve socket remember you must have two of the valve socket one on top of the tank connector and then another one at the bottom of the tank connector so he's fixing the one that's going to go um, at the bottom of the tank connector first before he fixes the one that's going to go inside or on top of the tank connector which is inside the tarpaulin pond the valve socket is what is going to receive your two inch pipe both beneath the tank and inside of the tank as you will see in a bit so here he's fixing the valve socket inside the tarpaulin tank as i said earlier so he's fixed one below he's fixed one above now this valve socket is what is going to receive the drainage pipe inside of the tarpaulin tank so you put a two inch drainage pipe here inside the tarpaulin tank and then you punch holes on the pipe inside the tank so that immediately you turn your air valve it is going to release water or the water will pass through the holes that you just drilled on the pipe inside the tank and then pass through your drainage system that is the whole um, aim of doing this thing so we are fixing the pipes that are going to um, take the water out of the pond and into the um, drainage outside and then we are fixing our stopcock or the air valve 
um, so just by a turn of the air valve water comes out of the uh, pond and into the drainage system so basically guys um, this is the setup that is going to help you drain water out of your tarpaulin pond you can see it is a do it yourself job it is something that you can do yourself even if you don't have any aspect training but if you are connecting two or more tarpaulin tanks then you are going to need an expert because then you would have to join some of the pipe into the drainage system and then that needs a little bit of um you know training or skill and so after fixing the tank connector after fixing our valve socket and fixing our stop cock we are trying out the um drainage system to see there are no leakages and you can see i'm pouring water exactly on where the we fix the tank connector to ensure that it does not leak because basically at this end um the job is done what is left to do is to put a two inch pipe inside the valve socket which is showing here and then we are going to drill holes on that pipe that pipe should be four feet high and then we are going to drill holes around them holes that are not too big so fingerlings cannot enter but a lot um, more so that water can easily pass through it when you turn your stop cock on so this is how you fix um the plumbing side or the drainage system of a tarpaulin pond i believe this video is going to help a lot of you because normally when you get these tanks if you don't know how to fix it you might have to pay somebody else to come and do it for you but if you know how to do it then at least you save some money and you don't have to go and pay anybody to come and fix anything for you so that is the um outlet of the tar tarpaulin tank. the inlet can be a water hose just as you see here you can just use a water hose as the inlet just we are as we are using here but if you want to also fix a an inlet pipes into it that also can be done you can refer to any of my videos that i have done on the concrete ponds how to do the inlet of the concrete ponds is the same basically you just connect the pipes to the source of water and then direct them into your pond so um thank you very much for sticking to the channel for watching our videos for sharing our videos and subscribing to our channel please if you are new here i would urge you to click on the subscribe button share this video comment and like to keep supporting this channel see you again another time bye bye